global television project tells about the global tour of modern Kazakh culture. In the last episode, we spoke about the Georgian tour of the Abai Kazakh State Academic Opera and Ballet Theatre. The famous troupe presented the Pearl of National Art, the Opera Abai, which was an unforgettable event in the cultural life of the Georgian capital, Tbilisi. The audience also well received the theatre's ballet company at the Zakaria Palyashvili Opera and Ballet State Theatre. The theatre is the alma mater of choreographic art of Kazakhstan. It is famous for its talented and ambitious soloists and diverse repertoire. Tbilisi, a city where a combination of unique architecture and natural beauty throughout the centuries inspired writers and musicians. Tbilisi harmoniously combines ancient antiquity and modernity. The countless picturesque streets provide an opportunity to feel the spirit and mood of the city. When you walk along the Rustaveli Avenue, you will definitely arrive to the magnificent building created by architects in the 19th century. Zakaria Palyashvili Opera and Ballet State Theatre is the largest theatre of classical art in Georgia. It was founded in 1851. And today, we will see how the troops of two legendary theatres will meet. The historical scene of the Tbilisi Theatre hosted famous foreign companies. Soloists of Teatro La Scala, the Bolshoi and Marinsky Theatres performed here. And now the soloists of the oldest theatre in Kazakhstan will also perform here. Since 2018, the Zakaria Palyashvili Theatre received the status of cultural heritage of national importance in Georgia. <laughs> This is a famous well-established theatre, as we have in Almaty. I am pleased that Nino Ananyashvili is the head of this ballet company. We studied together at the Moscow Ballet School. We know each other well, and the fact that we will perform before our colleagues is important and memorable. The ballet company of Zakaria Palyashvili Theatre includes many famous dancers. The ballet company is led by the brilliant Nino Ananiashvili. She started to perform at the Bolshoi Theatre when she was 18 years old. After four years, she became a prima ballerina. She is the winner of the four highest awards at international ballet competitions. Nino Ananiashvili was once the principal soloist of the American Dance Theatre, the Houston Ballet and the Royal Danish Theatre. Famous ballerina says that they were looking forward to the performance of Kazakh soloists. I think that it is always interesting and pleasant when you have an opportunity to see how other theatres work. And in this regard, we are glad to welcome Kazakh company in our beautiful home, in our temple of art. Moreover, the building has been restored and it looks completely different. It is a wonderful, beautiful theatre. And therefore, I believe that our audience is also looking forward to see the performance. I hope that our friendship will begin and our theatres will collaborate closely. Nino Ananyashvili have never performed in the Bakchisarai Fountain, despite her extensive repertoire. The ballet was staged at the Bolshoi Theatre when she first joined the troupe, and then it was removed from the repertoire. And this production has never been staged in Tbilisi. Due to this, the event attracts more attention from the local public as Kazakh soloists brought the long-awaited ballet. It is no coincidence that we choose the fountain of Bakchisarai Ballet. First of all, it has the eastern motifs. Secondly, it is based on Pushkin's poem, and we know that Zarima was Georgian. And this is also a bit symbolic. Almaty Theatre presented a new restored version of the fountain of Bakchisarai in Tbilisi. The premiere of the ballet took place in October last year, staged by Guljan Tutkibaeva, the chief choreographer of the theatre. The laureates of international competitions and festivals performed the leading parts in the performance. Nargis Mir Sidova performs the part of a bright and emotional Georgian girl, Zarima. I remember I didn't want to be anyone but a ballerina. From the age of five, I went to the preparatory courses before entering the school. And at the age of nine, I entered the school. I graduated from college and started to work at the Abai Theatre. Zarima from the fountain of Bakchi Sarai Ballet is the first principal part for Nargis Mir Seidova. Each ballet dancer believes that he or she should bring something new to this part. The fountain of Bakchi Sarai is a drama ballet where you have to do everything correct physically. It is also a very difficult performance in terms of drama elements. You have to live your role. 
The director stages the ballet and you cannot perform this role differently. The director stages the ballet and you cannot perform this role differently. It is not only about the technique and movement. Your emotions sometimes outrun the body, outrun everything. You have to feel all these emotions. Sometimes it interferes a little. You try to restrain yourself, but you need to perform not only physically but also emotionally. Azamat Askarov performs the part of a stern and merciless Crimean Khan Girey for the first time. This is his debut today. I didn't have much time preparing for this play because the situation was that I needed to learn this part at the last moment. I was absolutely ready for this role. This is a challenging performance in terms of emotions. It was necessary to tell this legend and the story in one movement. Of course, you can make a warlike face. You are a ruler and you can make a stern face with your eyes. And this is your moment. You are suffering, but your reputation does not allow you to show that you are suffering. But I can only do this on stage with the support of the audience and the team. Azamat Askarov is a graduate of the Silesnev Almaty Choreographic School. When he was a third year student, he danced in the Romeo and Juliet play, where he played the part of Count Paris. So that immediately after graduating from college, he was expected to work in one of the oldest theatres in Kazakhstan. I performed in all the leading parts in such emotional performances as Romeo and Juliet and Red Giselle. I played a stern military commander in Red Giselle and I performed the opposite character in Romeo and Juliet Ballet. The part of the Fountain of Bakchisaray Ballet takes place in Poland. The drama of Young Mary, performed by the soloist Janiel Tukieva, who lost her father and fiancé Vaslav at once, does not leave the spectators indifferent, forcing them to feel sorry for Mary. Maria is a Polish woman. So, of the first act is the first act of the Mary is a Polish girl, and the entire first act of the play takes place in the palace, her father's estate. It is her birthday. Many guests are invited. They have fun. There are some dance elements. My part is based on classical movements. Tukieva joined the troupe of the Abai Opera and Ballet Theatre in 2006. During this time, the repertoire of the ballerina includes almost all the leading parts from the theatre program. You know, I love to dance Juliet. This is one of my favorite parts. I also enjoy performing the part of Giselle as I am a more lyrical ballerina. Despite this fact, we have Don Quixote Ballet in our repertoire. I play Kitri. We also stage the Swan Lake Ballet. The Black Swan is more temperamental and the White Swan, respectively, is more lyrical. I hope I successfully perform these parts. To me, it is important. The scenography of the production is also different. National artist of Russia, Vyacheslav Okuniev, made the scenery. His work on the scenery, lighting solution and costumes helped the ballet to gain a new life. Vivid images require complete transformation of soloists. Every artist is individually it is cut separately for each soloist to match the ears. Below, we pull it up a little. The only inconvenience is your own beard. It is not easy to glue this part. We have to be careful during the performance. The Fountain of Bak Chisarai is a special production for the oldest theatre in Kazakhstan. It was premiered in 1942. It entered the list of productions included in the history of Russian ballet art. Georgia is a country of hospitable people. They receive Kazakh soloists very well. The hospitality of Georgian people is familiar to the whole world.
the audience watched with great interest to what is happening on stage. They were captivated by the skill and emotional impact of Kazakh dancers. There was a situation when people came with invitation cards, but all the seats were already booked. Approximately 300 people could not get into the theatre. We are happy for the full house. We are always waiting for this. We have a great troupe, great soloists. An oriental tale from the Kazakh troupe received a standing ovation from the audience. The applause continued for a long time in the crowded hall of the legendary theatre. The audience did not let the soloists to leave the stage. Uh, the ballet was wonderful and the opera yesterday was also very good and nice and I would like to congratulate the Embassy of Kazakhstan in Tbilisi and the government of Kazakhstan for this program to promote the culture of the country. For Bulgaria it of course is of interest to see as much culture as possible of different countries. We have an embassy in Kazakhstan. The audience and colleagues, ballet dancers of the Palyashvili Theatre, including dancers from Italy, Brazil, Japan and other countries, congratulated the Kazakh troupe, which had a successful performance. Right now we just finished watching the first act and it was actually my first time watching this ballet. So for me it was interesting um, and also first time watching Kazakhstan company. I really like the, the Mayo technique, they were very they had good momentum, they were very um, active and present. I think my favorite part was the duet, the Mayo duet in first act, uh, the two young boys. Um. We are glad that you came to our country and I hope that you like our theatre and our city. And I hope you like our audience. We have a sophisticated audience, but they understand and appreciate well. I want to say that everything was well done. I wish you success in your further tours. Director of Almaty Theatre, Askar Buribayev, said that the successful tour proves that Kazakh opera and ballet art are experiencing its heyday. Most importantly, we impressed the public in Tbilisi. You saw that it was a sold-out performance. They didn't let our dancers leave the stage at the end of the performance. This is a historical theme. Many famous theatres performed here, including the Bolshoi Theatre and the Marinsky and Teatro Alla Scala. Kazakh Theatre staged the gala concert on the third day of the tour. Opera singers, symphony orchestra and choir prepared the best works of world classics. The concert program included works created by Western European composers and arias from national operas. Balwan Birkenov and I will be performing the Kamar and Ahmed duet from Kamar Sulus's opera, written by Yerkegali Rachmadiev. I'm very glad to perform here. This is a great honor for our theatre. <laughs> I want to thank our theatre administration and our director, Askar Buribayev. The concert was held as part of the modernization of Kazakhstan's identity program. We can share our culture with Georgia. When I came here, I felt such a spirit of creativity. We met amazing people in this wonderful theatre. I am really happy to be here. The local audience was surprised to hear the arias from Zakaria Palashvili's opera Daisy and Song of Tbilisi. And the hall burst into applause. Touched by the magnificent performance and attention of the Kazakh troupe to the legacy of Georgian opera, the audience thanked the soloists with enthusiastic ovations. The gala concert was a colourful celebration of tour. Its grandiose tour strengthened the close friendship of the two oldest theatres and opened the wall of modern culture of Kazakhstan to the Georgian audience.